Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. In today's webinar, we'll be talking about cloud integrated patch management. As many of you know, a patch is a piece of software designed to fix or improve a computer program or its supporting data. This includes fixing security vulnerabilities and other defects and improving usability or performance. And patch management is really about the process of using a strategy or plan of what patches should be applied to which systems at a specified time and then acting on that process. The world of patch management is fragmented, and today's speaker has talked to hundreds of IT admins about what's working with patch management and what needs to get a little bit better. Your speaker today is Aaron Miska from the Jamf Software product team. Aaron is the product owner of Patch Management and is directly involved with how we're incorporating patching tools directly into the Casper suite. And my name is Jennifer Kaplan. I'm a product marketing manager at Jamf Software, and I will be your co-host for today. For those who are new to Jamf Software, today we'll kick things off with a quick walkthrough of who we are and why Jamf Software is uniquely positioned to talk about patch management. We'll discuss a few security trends and challenges that drive the need for better patching tools, and we'll walk you through how at Jamf Software we're integrating patch management into the Casper suite, along with a few other exciting related new features. We'll save some time at the end for Q&A, so feel free to enter any questions you have into the Q&A or chat box. So again, for those of you who are on the webinar today who are new, uh, welcome. We are Jamf Software. We're excited to have you here. Uh, at Jamf Software, we're all about bringing the legendary Apple experience to your organization with the best device management solution for Mac, iPad, and iPhone. We're all about simplifying the complexities associated with getting your people the devices they need with everything they need on them. Our solutions inventory, deploy, and secure every Mac, iPad, or iPhone in your environment, and we're meant to easily integrate with your existing IT infrastructure. We focus exclusively on Apple because Apple users are a little bit different. Their expectations are different, and unlike other devices and operating systems on the market, the Apple experience truly puts users first. Designed to automate device management for you while driving end user productivity and creativity, the Casper Suite is the set of administrative tools that you can use to help manage your Apple fleet. And at the heart of this suite is the Jamf Software Server, or as we'll refer to it today, the JSS. The JSS is the management server component. The Casper suite also includes a set of management applications for building packages for deployment, remote access to client machines, imaging, as well as enrollment. It also includes applications for your end users, such as the self-service enterprise app store, which gives your end users the ability to install apps, update software, and maintain their own devices without a help desk ticket. All of these together make up the Casper suite. The Jamf Software Server can be hosted by Jamf Software in the cloud or run on an OS X, Windows, or Linux server for on-premise deployments. Now that we've introduced ourselves to anyone who's new, uh, let's move forward with talking about a few current industry trends. So with more than 8,000 customers managing 6.5 million iPad, iPhone, and Macs, we've seen at Jamf Software firsthand some of the industry shifts and trends that are impacting the way IT updates software. And now I'll kick it over to our Jamf Software product owner, Aaron Miska, to talk about some of these trends, what solutions we're introducing to help combat some of the common challenges to patch management and a little bit on our plans for the future. Thanks for being here today, Erin. Thanks, Jen. Uh, so like you said, there are a couple trends that we're seeing in the industry that are really affecting patch management today. Um, the first that we're seeing is that there's an increase in hacking and security vulnerabilities. So operating systems and applications are having to evolve pretty quickly to account for this, and this is leading to more frequent updates from vendors. So organizations are having to deploy more and more patches just to keep their organizations secure and mitigate risk. The second thing that we're seeing is that end users are much more mobile than ever before. So this means that there are more apps that they have to use to stay productive. So more apps times more updates for each app is ending up with a lot of patches for IT to keep up with. So to put some numbers around this, 
We took a look at 10 of the common software titles that uh, our customers are patching frequently. Um, you can see that it's mostly web browsers and productivity tools that we've looked at here. And we found well over 100 patches for these titles in the last year. And most organizations that we talk to have uh, much more than 10 titles to, to support. And so you can imagine that this is resulting in quite a few updates each year that IT is having to keep up with. Just a little bit more insight into the importance of patch management today. Gartner actually recently published that most exploited vulnerabilities are ones that IT has already known about for a year or more. So these exploits can actually be prevented with basic patch management, but, but that kind of basic prevention still doesn't seem to be happening. And we th think that's because organizations have more and more patches to keep up with, and the process is just really a lot of work. So what's so hard about patch management that customers are, are just falling behind? Um, the big thing is that IT is having to keep their eye out for updates from software vendors. And so this often involves hours of searching for updates online. They're uh, often using like tech news websites or Twitter to find out about these updates. And then once IT finds an update, there's a long process usually for figuring out who needs the update, packaging up that update, getting it onto a distribution po point, and actually deploying it in a way that doesn't disrupt their end users. So you can see that this whole process is very repetitive and time consuming. And a big reason for this is that there aren't many Mac solutions that are purpose built for patch management. Many of our advanced customers have set up complex homegrown or open source solutions that automate some or all of this, and they work pretty well, but there are a couple of problems with these solutions. The first is that they just tend to be a lot of work to set up and maintain. And they're also uh, often very command line driven without much of a UI to use. Um, there's not usually official support for these tools. So if something breaks or, or the user needs help with something, there's not really anyone to call and rely on for help. And then the last thing is that it often leads to tribal knowledge in an organization. So if someone spends a lot of time setting up this com complicated patching solution, that's all fine and great. But then when they, they leave the organization and they have to train someone new, employee turnover tends to be really difficult. So because of all these challenges, we at Jamf Software are working on creating a purpose-built automated solution for patch management on the Mac platform. We really want to save IT time so that they can use their resources on other more strategic work. So our most recent release of the Casper suite, version 993, has some new features to start making patch management a little bit easier. So we'll take a little bit closer look at the Casper suite 993. The first thing you'll see is that there's a new section in the JSS called patch reporting. We'll take a look at that. So here we see all the titles that we have set up patch reporting for. If we click New, we get a list of the titles that are supported in 993. You can see that we currently have support for about 30 key third-party software tools. And they're things like web browsers, common product productivity tools, and communication tools, and a couple antivirus titles. We really tried to key in on the titles that we were hearing from users that are the most time-consuming to be patching constantly. And then the next really cool thing that we get in 993 are these automated patch notifications. So once we choose a title to set up, we just have a few basic options to configure here. And the important thing is that we can choose to get notified either in the JSS or via email when the vendor releases updates that are available for deployment. So that means no more going out to Twitter or tech news sites to figure out when there's a patch available the news will come to you instead of you trying to find the news. And then as soon as you save this title, you'll immediately start receiving those notifications when an update is available. So this is what they would look like in the JSS, and it's nice because you can click the update and be taken right to that patch in the JSS. The third and probably biggest thing that you get with 993 and patch, patch management is uh, patch compliance reporting. So again, right when we save a software title, we automatically get this generated report just based on all the inventory information we already have in the JSS, no configuration necessary. And the great thing about this is that it will always be up to date. So here we, we're looking at the report for version for Google Chrome, and we can see what the latest version is. And we get this nice visual of how we're doing against that version. In this case, we're not doing very well. Um, we can see that none of the computers in my JSS are on the latest version. 
Beyond that, though, we can look to the right of that pie chart and see more detail about what versions are out there and how many computers are on each version. So I can get a quick look at the distribution of Chrome across my environment. Um, another cool thing is that we can actually export these reports for an easy way to communicate this out to a manager or even a security team who's asking how we're doing on the latest Chrome patch. And then if we want a quicker way to get this information or just a nice view of all the titles that are most important to us, we can actually add these reports to the dashboard. So if you're not familiar, the, the JSS dashboard is really where you get a quick view into the status of your entire env environment, and it's customizable, so you can add the things that really matter to you. So now that we know that there's a Chrome patch needed, one of the next steps would typically be to create a group of all the computers that need it. And this usually required a long list of criteria looking for computers that are on an old version. But in this new release, we have a much more efficient way of creating these groups, which eventually will help you with scoping your patches. So we can now use a less than operator to easily identify all the computers that are less than the version that we're targeting. And then what's even cooler is that we can use this latest version value to create a group that continuously updates its membership as new versions are released. So when a new version of Chrome comes out, I don't have to update the criteria in my smart group because it just knows that, that the latest version is what it should be looking for. So as many of you know, 9 and 3 is just our first step in simplifying patch management for our customers. And we're super excited to continue to get your guys' feedback and expand this functionality. So as far as our plans for expanding our patch solution, in an upcoming release, we're planning to have that purpose-built solution for actually deploying patches. So now that we're able to automate the, the steps of actually telling you who needs the patches, we'll get to the point where we can actually help you automate the deployment of that. Um, we'll take further steps to automate the scoping of those deployments and also um, help you out with a test workflow for patches. So many organizations um, follow a best practice of deploying patches out first to a small group of computers and then maybe expanding that a little bit before they actually deploy that out to the masses. Um, and so we want to help automate that workflow. And then finally, in an upcoming release, we are aiming to have a much, uh, much better end user experience. So today, a common problem with patch management is actually finding the right time to do the, the deployment that doesn't disrupt your users, and we'll be helping with that. After this upcoming release, we'll be working on a fully automatable patch management solution, which includes the automated package creation that everyone's after, um, and fully automated deployment so that you can literally be deploying patches in your sleep. Um, we'll also be working on support for additional titles, and there's a couple different ways that we'll be doing this. The first is that um, as Jamf works on this solution, we will support additional um, titles throughout these releases. We're continuing to get feedback on the most important titles to you. And we also want to incorporate support for Apple, purchase, Apple patches. So um, we, can, we have pretty robust patching capability in the Casper suite today with um, Apple patches, both from the App Store and the operating systems themselves. But we'd like to roll that into this solution a little bit more so that the, the experience in the JSS is a little bit tighter. And then finally, eventually, we want to get to the point where these titles can be open sourced by the community. So you guys can be writing your own definitions and sharing them amongst yourselves. This will be helpful for the, the titles that are not common across necessarily all organizations, but still enough where it's useful for you guys to be sharing those. Um, and then, Jen, I'm going to hand it back to you so you can talk about some other new features in the Casper Suite 993. Great. Thanks so much, Erin. Um, we're really excited about uh, the new patch reporting features in Casper Suite 993, which is available to all customers as of last week. Uh, and there are a few other things in Casper Suite 993 that we wanted to call out uh, including um, some interesting new cloud features. So um, in Casper Suite 993, we've added better integration with existing IT systems via SSO, with SAML 2.0 for authentication, identity, and access. We've also added an LDAP proxy to create a secure bridge so you can integrate into your uh, directory services in a very secure way to use um, LDAP for group lookup 
mock-ups or as kind of a source of truth to drive who gets what content and when. Uh, we were very excited to open a new data center in Frankfurt, Germany, so organizations can choose whether they want to host their data within the U.S. or um, in Germany, kind of giving them the ability to host in the re region of their choice. Customers who use a cloud deployment model uh, now have the GM Cloud Distribution Service. So uh, we're actually hosting a distribution point for software packages. So IT can easily distribute packages regardless of what network or location they are connecting from us using GAMP's cloud hosted distribution point. And then another exciting piece of Casper Suite 993 is that organizations who are really, really excited to start testing those new operating systems from Apple and are participating in the beta program uh, can actually test iOS 10 and Mac OS Sierra with Casper Suite 993. Um, as with any beta program, we, we do encourage you to not use a production environment to test, um, but very exciting for anyone who is interested in testing those out at this point. Uh, before we go into the Q&A, I wanted to talk a little bit about some resources that are available to everyone on the call today. Um, if you enjoy attending webinars, we have a whole library of webinars on a wealth of different topics, including product-focused webinars, industry-focused webinars, um, webinars for those in education who are interested in learning about new instructional tools. Um, head over to jampsoftware.com and search for webinars to see the latest recordings and you'll be able to find the recording of today's webinar on this page as well. Jamf Nation, we also talked a little bit about Jamf Nation earlier as we innovate and continue to build out our patch management solution. We really look to Jamf Nation as a place to interact with uh, Jamf software customers and those who are already using the great new patch management features in Casper Suite 993. Um, even if you're not a Jamf software customer, uh, there's over 35,000 Apple IT administrators on Jamf Nation sharing tips, tricks, best practices. They submit feature requests and we typically include a good number of of those feature requests in each release. So it's a really great place for us to have a sounding board for what our customers want and a great place for IT administrators to go and, and kind of get the latest and greatest in the world of Apple device management. And if you prefer to interact in person, we encourage you to check out our Jamf Nation user conference this October 18th through 20th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, it's one of the largest gatherings of IT administrators in the world in the Apple space. Um, we'll have a lot of great sessions on product, a lot of customer success stories. So if you're interested in seeing what's new in the product and hearing some really cool use cases and success stories from like-minded folks, please do consider attending that. Um, that's JNUC 2016. You can find that on our website as well. And then if you are just interested in learning a little bit more about Jamf Software and the Casper Suite, please head over to our website. Um, we have a Contact Us button. You can check it out anytime. Um, you, and we'll connect you with one of our Apple device management experts uh, who can tell you a little bit more about the Casper Suite and talk with you about your um, organizational goals. Thank you very much for everyone who attended this afternoon.